Ho, ho, holes. It's Christmas, and to celebrate this holiest of days, let's take a look at the holiest of movies, Super Hole Sunday. I'm sure you must be wondering why you were summoned to my home. Well, yeah, it's not every day that the team quarterback is invited to lunch with the team owner. So this senior has been invited to this senior's home. Darren here is the team quarterback for Grey Hairs Football Club. So what's the occasion for this meeting? Last season's performance was a mess and an embarrassment to my corporation and I'm seriously considering selling the team. Long story short, it's because the team kinda sucks. And Darren is tasked to improve team morale, so to speak, because, well... Let's not bullshit a bullshitter. I know all about you and your private life. Darren wastes no time and calls the one man who knows a thing or two about team morale. Boys for hire, how may I help you? Hey, it's Darren. I need to talk to you. What are you doing calling me in my business line? This is business. I need to hire some of your boys. For you? No, for a special project involving the team. Anyway, the pimp is interrupted by a new potential employee. Well, what do we have here? This is my friend Diego, the one I told you about. And to prove that they're worthy of his clientele, they have to perform hardcore man action for this infrared sensor, which is apparently an HD camera. Hey man, I'm not here to kink shame. Darren appears to reiterate the same conversation as we just heard and we cut to a photo shoot with one hell of a photographer. I mean, look at that poster. This is some top tier marketing. Hey. Anyway, he needs to photograph Aussie boy here in a jock strap. Here, your team logo will be superimposed later. Yeah, that's good. Not such a smile on your face, no. Yeah, yeah. Bend back just to hair. Perfect, perfect. However, something's wrong. What is it? What's wrong? Well, it's, uh, never mind. No, what? Tell me, I can fix it. Uh, it's, it's the jack strap. It's, um, not strong enough, um, how do you say, meat? Steve wants some more of that Australian meat. His snag, his schlong, his doodle, his wedding tackle. And Steve decides to help him improve his morale by offering his head. But Spanish man and his friend has one final piece of the plan they need to get into motion. Pimp man's escort service has found out that the coach has ordered himself a hot girl for his hotel room for the night. Well, how does that help us? Yeah, that's what I want to know. How does any of this improve their football skills? I paid off the girl. So in her place, we're sending one of the guys. You've been waiting a long time. I thought you probably wouldn't show. No talking. I'm in control here. If you remove the mask, I'll stop whatever I'm doing and leave. Is that clear, sweet man? Baby, you sound real hot. Oh god, this plan is problematic. And let me tell you, they go all the way. All right. I want to see those beautiful lips that have been working me over. The fuck? He's understandably pissed for like two seconds. Then he embraces his inner bisexuality and they go to town. Again. I had a fucking slug you. But, uh, well, I always wondered what it would be like to have a guy go down on me. Well then, she'll flip back and enjoy it. Football training is kind of fucking weird, man. Next up, there's a player with a broken leg going to some doctor at the desert. Uh, whatever, this doctor turns out to be a cockter and uh, makes him good at football. And thus, Christmas was saved. Hey, who let you in? And what's that? Your door was open. And thanks to you and your boys, we won the first game of the season. Between this scene and the last, the team apparently won a football match. 
so I guess you're planning a little celebration. Yeah. Every time I call the pigs came today, I couldn't help but thinking of holding something else in my hand. I may have retired from being a team water boy, but I'll always be here being your pig with a big piece of skin. What? What? Merry Christmas. I know this maybe wasn't the most Christmassy of films, but uh, the intro joke was worth it. See you all next year, boys, and remember to smash that like button and subscribe.